Hello everyone, Penny here with Grandma's Kitchen. Today is starting the week four of Grandma's Kitchen. And our verse for today is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. Grandma's Kitchen was a special place that held many cherished memories. One of the most vivid memories is the sight of her perfectly set table, covered in full linens that all matched. The linens included cushions on the wooden chairs, curtains on the windows, placemats, napkins, and even pot holders for the hot dishes. During the day, Grandma used light linens, but for family dinners, she brought out the heavy layers of linens. The layers were carefully arranged, beginning with a thick padding made from thick cotton or quilt batting to protect the table from spills. The next layer was a plain white layer, followed by a top, a top tablecloth with intricate embroidery. On top of that tablecloth was a top runner with a border and even more embroidery. Grandma always paid attention to the de details, and it showed in her table setting. Pot holders for the hot dishes were color coordinated with the placemats, and the napkins were folded neatly and placed in the silverware. The dishes of prepared foods were strategically placed, and the chinaware was always polished to perfection. Every time we sat down to eat at Grandma's table, it felt like a special occasion. We knew that she had brought out her best for us, and it was a way for her to show her love and care for her family. The linens were a symbol of her dedication to creating a warm and welcoming home for all who entered. As I reflect on today's readings and memories, I am reminded of the importance of paying attention to the details and taking pride in the simple things. Grandma's table setting may seem like a small thing, but it left a lasting impression on me. It taught me that even the smallest details can make a big difference and that it's important to put effort into the things that matter. Grandma's kitchen will always hold a special place in my heart, and her perfectly set table will continue to be a symbol of her, of her love and dedication to her family. First Peter chapter 1 verse 4 To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, preserved in heaven for you. I hope that you have enjoyed today's readings, today's devotional, today's scripture, and the video. And check out um, the free principle. It will be posted. The link is posted in the group. And take part in the daily reflection. And of course, if you saw in the beginning of this week, we had a little schedule or a little planner that you could journal about the devotion if you wanted to. Or again, we have the daily reflection. So stay tuned for day two in the following video.